welcome back to the Brand Mary web series. I'm so excited to chat with you today on episode 10. Can't believe it's already episode 10. But before I jump into it, if you're new here, I wanted to take a couple seconds and introduce myself. So my name is Michelle Knight, and I am the founder and creator of BrandMary.com, and I'm a branding and business coach, and I primarily work with female entrepreneurs who are tired of just surviving in their nine to five, and I help them create a standout brand for their business so they can create their desired income and, very important, free up time in their schedule to spend on what matters most to them. So I created this web series as a way to offer value to anyone in the online world that was looking to create a business. And a lot of times I'm giving you guys strategies and tools, ways to really create a standout brand. If you haven't watched those videos, go back and watch those. But something that's really been coming up for me lately that I'm seeing a lot online and that I'm hearing a lot from my clients is this feeling of resistance, this feeling that... What works for everyone else might not work for me. And I wanted to create a web series episode today to tell you, with so much love, to stop doing what you think is right. Now, we all know that there are strategies and tools that work and some that don't work, right? We know that to grow our list, we need to offer some sort of awesome incentive or have a free training. And we know that to really sell high-end packages and to um, you know, be able to sell out our programs, we need to have people to sell them to. Those are no-brainers. But if you're having moments when you're having increased resistance about creating a free offer or creating a funnel that is a certain length or has certain verbiage or you're having resistance about saying your message or your hook, I want you to know that there is another way and that you should always be working with a coach, with a mastermind, with friends, with community members that support your desire to do what feels right for you. Because as a business owner, if you're miserable or if you are having resistance every single time that you have to put together a live training or create a new freebie or maybe you're not even lit up with your current brand or program, that is going to make it even more difficult for you to really message to your ideal client why they should participate in that or work with you. And the result from that is going to be you aren't going to make any money in your business. You're not going to be able to hit those goals that you really desire to do. So there's a couple things that I wanted to share with you today that I encourage you to take a step back when you are feeling these moments. And maybe the moment is around your business as a whole. Maybe you're just feeling resistance about the business as a whole and it's time to really take a step back and go a different direction. Maybe it's about something really small, like the number of emails in your sales funnel. Maybe you don't want to do eight emails. You want to do three or four. And what I want you to do is I want you to go back to your story. I can't tell you how important your story is for every aspect of your business. If you've watched any other any of my other web series, you know that you start with your story to create your brand. You start with your story to find your ideal client. You start with your story to develop your messaging. I want you to go back to that story, and I want you to think about why you started this business in the first place, what you really hope to inspire or change or motivate in other people, be that women, men, millennials, older adults, whatever that is for you and your business. And I want you to really take a moment to sit with that person who started this and think back on why you started it. And then I want you to go a step further and I want you to really think about your purpose. If your purpose in life is not in alignment with what you're doing right now, the resistance is going to keep coming up for you. It's not going to stop. You can do the live training and in two weeks when you're thinking about doing another live training, you're gonna go through this whole cycle again and again and again. So it's time to take a step back and say, is there another way for me? Is there something else that I could do that maybe not everyone is doing yet or something that feels really exciting and creative for me? It is proven that going in Facebook groups and finding your ideal client and getting people on your list organically that way without you know, paying for Facebook ads works. But if you aren't getting in those Facebook groups because it just doesn't feel natural to you, then find a different way. Is there something else that you could do? Could you host an in-house workshop? 
to start getting people into a small program or a small little small priced offer or onto your list? Could you, you know, create your own group, which I highly recommend, and start giving value that way and just sharing your group online rather than feeling like you have to constantly be coming in and sharing a free offer or something like that? If you're feeling resistance about some sort of live training, can you mix it up a bit? No, you don't have to do a webinar with slides. You can do a whole audio masterclass. You can do a live stream on Facebook and share it later. The possibilities are endless. But I want you to get really creative with that thought process. Because at the end of the day, you should be working with a coach or a mentor that allows you to explore that creativity. Sure, we're going to give you suggestions because that's what we're here for. But if it doesn't feel right for you and you find yourself fighting it, then think of a different way. You're the boss. You created this business for the freedom, for the time freedom, the financial freedom, the location freedom, and the freedom of creativity. So use that. It's in you. But what you have to do is you have to recognize that's resistance. You have to go back to your story and remember why you started it in the first place. You need to think about your purpose. What is that big, big end goal at the very, very end that you're working towards? And finally, what are the different ways that you could step outside the box, that you could do something different that feels really, really good for you? And start brainstorming those. You know I'm a big fan of journaling, so I would say go for that. <laughs> Go ahead and start journaling a list of ideas of ways that you could build your list or offer your value. You know, again, maybe it's not a webinar or training because you have kids running around. And the thought of having to fit a training in during nap time is super stressful. So maybe you do a live stream with a baby on your hip and that's just what you do. I've done it multiple times. You do what works for you. And the second you release that resistance, and you show that you are in your creative element and you're feeling very, very free about your business, you will start attracting people to your business, to your brand, to your message, and you will start signing those clients that you dream of signing. So again, I just wanted to share this with you because I'm seeing it come up a lot. I know it's not a lot of strategy, it's not a lot of tools, but I hope that you found value in this and I hope that you will assess where you are putting up blocks or where you're feeling like, I don't really want to do that. And stop doing what you think is right. And start doing what feels really, really good for you. What's in alignment with your story and your purpose. And your business is going to flourish. If you want to hang out with me even more, I would love to have you join my private community, Authentic Brand Builders. There's a link below to do that. And I would love to know in the comments as well, if this message resonated with you, if it inspired anything, with you or feel free to email me. That information is below as well. I will see you all again soon for episode 11 and I hope you have a fantastic day.